Ladies and gentlemen, hey, how's it going? Uh, C Sharp here, and what we're going to do here, this is going to be a midweek. Well, not so much so much a midweek since it is Friday, but this is going to be just a, uh, a quick tip. Ever wanted to know how to update a GUI or a UI element via a, a separate thread? Well, we're going to go ahead and discuss that here today. Just real quickly, this is more of a, uh, an advanced topic. So for anybody who's new that's been following the channel, this might be a little bit over, but we're just going to do this, you know, just, just a quick tip here. So first of all, what do we need to do in order to update a, a UI element from another thread? Well, first of all, we're going to need another thread. How do we get another thread? Well, <clears throat> first thing we need to do is we're going to need to include system.threading in our using statements. And then we're going to need a delegate for the uh, update method. So we got uh, we got public delegate void. Since we're not going to return anything, we're going to give our delegate a name, which is del update UI text box, and we're going to actually have it accept a string. So we have string text. All right, then we're going to go ahead and create our thread and uh, the thread start and thread. If you're unfamiliar with threads, um, I suggest you go and check out the MSDN on how to actually work with different threads. All right, so then what we do here is uh, in the form load, um, what we want to do here first, we want to instantiate the thread start object and pass in what method it will call. So from our thread start object, our thread start object accepts a, a method. And our method is going to be this right here, um, get the thread started. So what we do is we just go ahead and pass that in there without parentheses, just what method it is. And then we're going to instantiate the new thread and pass in the thread start object. So we just do my update thread equals new thread, thread start, our thread start points to our method here, etc., so on and so forth. Then we're going to name our, our thread. Um, we're just going to give it a name here, we're going to call it second thread. Then we're going to go ahead and start it. Once we call start here, it's going to actually fire off this, this method right here. And then this method here, the uh, get the thread started, is going to instantiate uh, uh, our, our delegate. So here's our delegate right here. We're going to give it a name. We just call it the exact same thing, except we give it an uppercase D this time. So our delegate update UI text box, and give it our name, equals a new one. And then what, what method is this delegate actually going to call and that's the method that it's going to call to be able to do the UI update so then from there <coughs> we need to call um, the begin invoke method on our text box so what we do here is we do this dot text box one dot begin invoke we're gonna pass in the delegate variable which is the one we just created here without parentheses or anything like that, it's just a variable or an object. And then the begin invokes uh, accepts a couple different parameters. The one parameter, the first one being the delegate method, and the second one being some arguments. And the arguments that we're going to pass in is the text that the delegate actually accepts from its signature. So we're going to pass in, I was updated from thread and then we're going to pass in the thread name that actually updated this and that's going to be the my thread so then what happens there when 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 this method gets called this delegate here is going to fire off this method here update ui text box and it's going to accept the string for a parameter here which is going to be this and then what we do is we say this text box one dot text is equal to text box string which will be what we passed into it so, if we go back to our form here, here's our text box. That's what we're going to be updating. And if we go ahead and start this, we're just hitting F5. And we go, and it starts up. And immediately, right away, boom, I was updated from thread, second thread. So, in a nutshell, that is how you update UI elements from another thread using delegates. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, go ahead and click subscribe, and we'll have another video for you soon.